Good morning guys. Welcome to Right VIP, the Right Your Channel. My name is Serge and in today's video it is Tuesday. Well at least I started on Tuesday, but it's Wednesday morning, like 1:40. I want to let you know kind of like the plan for this week and basically what Uber has kind of like going on this week. Not sure if you got a quest, but I certainly do. But today I'm calling this day basically a day. Um, or a night, whatever. I'm finishing this day early. Um, not that I'm tired. I'm actually doing pretty good. But truth of the matter is, even though I'm not tired right now, it's probably due to the fact that I drink some coffee. Um, and I've been pretty much having like very, very late starts uh, this week. I cannot get back into the groove of things. Uh, normally, I would begin the day uh, at approximately sometimes like 3 p.m. and I'll start driving and about 4 I begin my day and about like 4 a.m. and I'm, I'm finished uh, but I technically did not work long enough to uh, basically even do that but here's kind of like what I do want to point out as you could see for two days Monday and Tuesday I have made four hundred and four dollars and thirteen cents totaling which isn't bad so I put in 16 hours and uh, 43 minutes. Normally, for every four hours that you put in, I would make about like $100. So this is about consistent. There's also some uh, moments where I had the coffee mug uh, on and uh, so nothing was kind of like going on, uh, but basically I'm still online. So to really go offline, you have to go offline. But anyways, there is a quest going on and if you click here, you could see that I did 34 out of 50 uh, trips. So I will get an extra $60 for completing uh, additional 16 uh, rides. So for the additional 10, see why is this thing not loading? You get an extra $15. So this is a pretty bad quest, but it's better than nothing. You know, if there was nothing here, which last week there was nothing, uh, at least it helps to have something. Uh, that being said, um, if you look at the opportunities, they did have another quest here, which I already selected, and it's definitely a lot better than the other ones, but this one's for Friday to Monday. Uh, so this is $200. I always select the biggest quest. I do, I do not select these little ones. I just do not even see any point in it. Unless you're just doing this part-time, then yeah you might need to select a part-time quest but i could do this easily full-time now i'm more excited about getting this 200 dollars. 200 is uh that's pretty good so basically for the earnings here's what i want to do is 404 dollars we'll just divide it by 17. um 404 dollars divided by 17 hours so i'm making 23 dollars and 76 per hour i'm not going to complain about that that's not a bad number. That's still pretty good. Uh, but even though it's okay, I'm going to go ahead and go home. Um, I've made this decision to stop a little bit earlier just because of where I'm located. As you can see, I'm lo located in South Carolina area and I live in South Carolina. So that means I do not need to put destination mode to go home. I could just simply go home uh, from here. It's still going to be maybe like another like 40 minute drive, but it's a lot better than let's say... I continue working i go to cornelius or huntersville i mean i I try, I try to avoid those things uh you know but sometimes i miss it and i end up going that way uh and then i get kind of stuck but anyways uh today being that it's a wednesday morning i think in a couple hours it might start getting busy because people are going to go to the airport but what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get back into the schedule of working 12 hours from four to four and as you guys already know, I have to commute, commute to Charlotte one hour and one hour back. But what I normally do is I actually don't drive one hour to Charlotte. I would basically go somewhere to 77 uh, around Rock Hill area. This is a 30 minute drive versus one hour and I'll start working in Rock Hill. And it will shoot me all over the place and sometimes even will take me like to this like Taga K or Lake Wiley area. And eventually I'll end up somewhere in Charlotte. But being that it's not the weekend, it really doesn't matter where I go. Like, it doesn't matter for me to be in Charlotte. All that matters is that at least I'm staying busy. But anyways, 
next i want to show you some of the offers that i've been getting some of these things are okay and some of these things are pretty silly so this particular one is okay i actually selected to do this and because of this obviously you know this this would make your income about 23 to 25 dollar range per hour so as you can see it's 12 minutes away and 25 minute drive so totaling 37 minutes but you already know that sometimes customers it takes them a while for them to get out and anywhere from three to five minutes that's about the usual so let's say they take three minutes so that's for 40 minutes of my time 23 dollars so i did end up taking this but what i don't like seeing is that i'm not getting paid a dollar per mile on this this really should have been like 27 dollars but i guess you can't really have your cake and eat it too um but anyways over here with this one this particular one it's a lot worse uh look it's 9.9 .9 miles away which i did not do this one uh so this one is and uh, all these other ones that I, that I have i end up not even doing them um so some of the ones that i do uh that do i usually don't take a screenshot because because i'll just select it and i'll just go but anyways when you have to drive very far away like 9.9 .9 miles to get four you know four dollars 81 cents that's kind of bad because when you actually go to the earnings they will not include this 9.9 .9 miles instead they're going to include a 2.65 with seven minutes and then it's going to look like you made four dollars 81 cents in seven minutes and you only drove like 2.65 miles and you're going to think well that's pretty good because you're not going to really remember driving 9.9 .9 miles if you didn't take any screenshots but i take them but anyways the reason that this one is actually bad even the time like look at it so that's 22 minutes so this could easily turn into 25 minute trip because you have to wait for the client to to get out of the house or whatever so 25 minutes could easily turn into 30 obviously there's always you know some kind of delays so before you you know it you're working four dollars 81 cents for a 30 minute period you do two trips like this you're making about nine dollars an hour and some change but the bad thing about it is half of this money is going to go towards fuel at least for me anyway so i know my car could be up to 24 25 miles per gallon but sometimes it's 19 to 20 miles per gallon it varies and maybe it's the driving that i do or fuel type that i get but but anyways i like to look at um the fuel expense at 20 miles per gallon instead of like 25 or higher because you know i should always expect that you know uh that I, like with this way it's actually easier to calculate too like if i'm basically uh buying one gallon of premium fuel and it's 20 miles per gallon so i'll kind of look at it you know this is 12 uh almost 13 miles but i could easily say okay that's half a gallon of fuel so that means i could easily remove two dollars from here so that means in real in reality after fuel expense it's you're only going to make two dollars and 81 cents per mile per uh two dollars and 81 cents for 30 minutes of your time and i know what you're thinking you're not including uh the other costs kind of like uh, depreciation and car payments insurance and you're right i am not there's no cost of food here or healthcare or what have you uh nothing is even in here but that's weird that today today's day and age we could work for two dollars and 81 cents for 30 minutes so two trips like that would put you somewhere like almost six dollars per hour that is way below minimum wage like that is crazy so definitely i did not take this now this other ones i'm just gonna basically just show it to you guys but you could do the math um i'm not even gonna really do any calculations but look how ridiculous they are so basically i'm just gonna say like this so that's gonna take approximately 20 minutes for three dollars and 74 cents 25 minutes basically for five dollars 59 cents basically this is gonna be 20 minutes for four dollars 53 cents so this one's going to be like basically uh 30 minutes for 14 dollars and 16 cents now i did take this one i remember this trip i did take it because this one even though it's not that good it's not a dollar per mile it was uh 
right around the airport area. Well, actually, I was going to the airport, but I actually had to pick up somewhere close to the airport. But anyways, regardless, this was kind of, uh, you know, it's it's okay. I end up taking this one because some of these things are really terrible. Like this one, $6 for basically 25 minutes. Twelve ninety two for uh, basically 30 minutes. So... But this one, it's going to take about, what is this, like, 35 minutes for $7.95. $13.74 for basically, let's just say 35 minutes. Because I'm also including kind of like the wait times. This is what today looked like when I started out today. But either way, um, I'm just going to go ahead and go home. I could see it's starting to get a little bit more busier. Um, of course, even if it was busy like this, I did not get really any of these surges. Like, it's all super gimmicky. Every single trip that I was getting offered was not anywhere near the surges that's, that's offered. Like, as you can see, like, there's like one of them that had a dollar. That's it. So, that is not fun. Unless you intentionally try to chase the surge, which is not fun, you might as well take a trip at that point and make that money. So, it's kind of like it's pointless. Because if you go offline and you're driving it, so it's like you have to think about it. It's like that you're doing a trip. So by the time you get there, you're going to miss out on that anyways. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry for such a long video, but I wanted to kind of like uh, tell you a little bit what's going on. I still want to see if uh, you guys um, are interested in doing kind of like a friendly competition to see who makes more. And uh, there's no uh, prize involved, but... I will give you recognition on my channel by, you know, shouting your name out and like, you know, maybe showing you comment or whatever. You know, all of us, we have a different strategy. So maybe you have a better strategy. So whatever strategy you use, you could maybe share with the people in the comment section and say, hey, Monday through Thursday, I made X amount or I make X amount every single day or you make an X amount for the whole week, you know, that kind of thing. So I will be working pretty much every single day uh, this week. Um, I plan to make a lot of money this week. I don't know what it's going to be, but I plan to make as much as possible. Um, the reason I want to do like a friendly competition is because it's kind of like moments like this. It's like, you know, if I knew I was in competition, then I would say, you know what? I'll squeeze out another two hours. That just would help you with like uh, bigger income. So an extra two hours could have been, you know, between 40 and $50, you know, that I could have made. Um, but anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourself and see you in the next video.